Welcome to the Midsummer Animators Anonymous meeting at the Home for Battered Algebra Students. And hello to everybody out there in video land. At the Home for Battered Algebra Students, we think math is like exercise. That everybody should do it. Everybody can do it. And it can be fun and empowering. On the other hand, just like exercise, if you go at it wrong, it can be painful, torturous, emotionally traumatic leading to dislike, even phobias, and for entirely too many people, a lifelong avoidance of anything associated with the torture. But it's not just about how much work is hard and how much is easy. There are so many math procedures. Our brains are like closets. Which kind do we want to have? So tonight, our goal is to check out a Khan Academy video regarding exponents. Is it going to help us own our learning and organize our mental classes? Now, I know most of our members are watching online, but we've got two folks here. Oh, and the talking robot, too. Yes, I have been programmed to analyze student error patterns to help teachers use appropriate instructional materials. And I am using a beta program that analyzes instruction and predicts student responses. Let's watch the video. Right, six times 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 six. He's got a nice clear voice. At least he's written the problem out already. In exponential notation. So what's going on over here? Well, we have six multiplied by itself how many times? Let's see, that's six times one. Then six times two is that. That's six times, well, it's not six times two. It's six times itself two times. Remember, six times itself two times would be 36. That's very six confusing. times two would only be 12. So we have 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, In his five, videos sixes, on multiplication, six sixes, he stressed seven, that when sixes, we say 6 fours, sixes. that means so 6 times 4. This is inconsistent with his times. utterances here. To write this in exponential notation, we would say that this is equal to 6, this is equal to 6 to the, to the, Eighth power, which is literally equal to six times 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 six. There's nothing here visual Now I want to make it very clear: this is not. This is not. It's just procedures for performing them. This is not. What about the concept of exponential growth? Six times eight. It's pretty important and awesome. Six times eight. Six times eight will only be forty-eight. Six to the eighth power is a super huge number. Six times six is thirty-six. He speaks most often in this video of the procedures six, not to perform. What? That's like thirty-six times. That's what two sixteen. And then you keep multiplying it by six, you get some huge At the end number of the video, here. This number what's right the here, only actual answer that is still in the This number the wrong is one. huge. The multiplication this number one. is huge. This My new program right here, in predicting student not response so to huge. instruction indicates it since it is what huge. he says so the don't most get confused. and emphasizes six the most the power, that students will assign six the most important itself, remembering procedures. Eight times, not six times eight. I have watched five many videos times three, and just analyzed a bit of refresh, his errors. Realize the difference. There five is much repeating of numbers three, and words right typical of students who manipulate five numbers well three, but perseverate five with limited times comprehension. Three. Let me just rewrite it. Twenty percent. He's a teacher, not a student. I'm sure he knows what he's talking about. He's word. just forgot what it's like not to know. Percent, which literally means twenty percent. Let me break it out. Which is the same thing as twenty per. It so Sent. happened that some students in the intro to 2D animation class applied their assignments to math lessons. Here's what one of our beginners did to animate the idea of exponents. It's still procedural because she doesn't know how to draw yet, but that's next week's assignment. Hello out there. Yeah, it's me. That little two-digit hovering above the four down there. I'm an exponent. I'm not like a regular number. I'm up here because I have higher powers. That four down there, that's just a count up to me number. Me, I'm about action and power. Don't call me two. Read this as four to the second power, or four squared. Because when I use my powers, there's no number two involved. That's just the directions for how many times you'll see factors of four multiplied. So four to the second power is four times four. And four times four can look just like a square. 
4 squared, 4 to the second power, it's 16. And here's a short version that's a little bit more visual. And this is a snapshot from a drag and drop exercise that they hope to turn you into a game. We don't need to jump to symbols and formulas for the practice part either. If we make things into games, we can have all kinds of levels in more than one direction so the students can make the connection between the pictures and the symbols. And here's a revision of an early assignment. Yes, we value editing and improving here. Of course, taking 200 pictures isn't the most efficient way to show perimeter, but the point is that we jump too quickly to formula and recipes. Let's show what that 2w plus 2l really means. And yes, the uh, animation skills are amateur, but imagine what we could do with professionals with a tenth of the Khan Academy's budget.